of equalities to help beat the boredom, yeah? Uh, cabin fever and all that stuff. So when you're stuck at the desk and you need a break, juggling is quite good ones, learn something new. So uh, ideally I have oranges, but I can't find any, so I've got lemons. Sometimes life, life gives you lemons, so you just deal with it. You so juggle with them. So you juggle with them. So uh, <laughs> this is, uh, there's many ways to learn to juggle. This is called the one, two, three uh, way of learning to juggle. So basically it's, there's only three steps and you just keep doing them until you get it. So it's really easy, but you've got to try and really follow it, okay? So start with a hand that you're most comfortable with. Left or right doesn't really matter, but I'm going to start with right because most people, that's what matters, okay? So the thing to do is that you start with the first, the first throw, throw one. And you, you make from one hand to the other, you're on the same level. I don't know if you can see my hand, but hopefully. And you throw uh, whatever you have, the lemon, and it has to go just between your eyes, just straight ahead and then land in the other hand. And then you throw it back, so it goes again to the middle here and pull back to the other side. So you just learn to do that and that. So let's move one and one and one and one. So that's the first move. You do that over and over and over again until basically you don't have to think about it anymore. Just one. Do you want us to copy you? If you have anything to throw, yeah. <laughs> I got two cuts. <laughs> I you can use cats. Okay. Well, <laughs> so the thing is, it uh, doesn't go higher, it doesn't go lower, it goes just like the feet of your eyes. Yeah? Up, up. And don't carry your hand over, you don't wave around, you don't do funny things, you just do up, 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 up. And that's it. So I don't know if you can see me on the camera. Anyway, so let's move one. Okay? So once you've got move one sorted, you do move two, so you get two elevens, and you move one, and as it becomes, uh, as it gets to just at the height of its trajectory, just between your eyes, you throw the other one underneath, and it does this. So I'll show you what it looks like. You do one, two, whoops, one, two, one, two. You both have to go high. You don't do this. Most people, when they do juggling, they do that, that really like move that always gets it wrong. You do that and you, you change hands like uh -huh. that. If you do that, that's it. You'll never juggle. But you've got to learn <laughs> to throw them both so that they, they cross over like that. So you do one, two, one, two. So remember, move one is one, one, one. And then move two is one, two, one, two. So the thing now is that it's a bit more challenging the second step because you're doing with your main hand. So if you're right-handed, you, you, you're quite used to throwing things with your right hand, but you, you have to throw with your left hand as well. So you're doing left, right, left, right, left, right. So let's move to. Okay, uh, Sarah, yeah. can you try, try that with your knives behind you? No. First aid. Well, well, you did want to show for Stephen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So, so, so you do that over and over and over again. So you just don't think about it. One, two. Okay. And okay. if you notice, I'm throwing with a right hand first at the moment. And then you learn to do the same thing with a left hand first. So one, two. One, ah, okay. Yeah? So, so what's happening now, you're training your muscles, your memory, you're not thinking about it anymore. You, you'll be used to just doing that. And you won't really you won't really bother if it's left hand or right hand first, it just becomes automatic. Once you've got move two sorted, you can move three. You put two on one hand, which is usually most people right hand first. And because you know how to do one, two very quickly, you just do that and you, you keep, you keep the, the lemon on the side and you just get used to doing that. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I'm in the right frame, but anyway, I don't know if you can see that. Like yeah. that, yeah. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm trying to get a bit closer. So, so you keep one on one side, you just do that. Like that. Yeah. So once you've got that move sorted, you just keep rolling. So you go. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Well, the trick is to do it 
uh, if you do it, you can kneel next to your wall. So if things fall, you don't have a far way to go. Or if you're at a desk, you just do it quite close to the desk, remove any glass or knives or anything like that. And just you move one over and over, move two over and over, flip it around, and then just do move three. And then you'll see one day you just go like, oh, yeah, I can do this. And then you Oh, and thank you. Easy. Yay. Hope that's useful. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. See you next time.